first of all, I apologize for taking so long. We had a lot of former players in the house, and you want to see those kids when they come back. But uh, very proud of our team. Uh, very excited about the way we started the basketball game and the way we started uh, the second half. We tell our players all the time that you can win a lot of games in the first five minutes of the game or the first five minutes of the second half. And I thought we, we came out, executed very well, played extremely hard, and got back to cowgirl basketball a little bit. This, this program has been based on defense and rebounding for a long time. And we've got away from that the last three or four games. And uh, today, to come out and, and win the rebound battle, 48 to 31, and uh, you know, play as hard as we did and work as hard as we did on the defensive end of the floor. Um, very proud of our group. Coach, can you talk about that decision to start uh, Suttles and LaShawn Jones, Jones today? It was, it's been a while. You know, I just look back on it that uh, that's the lineup we started at the beginning of the year, and we were probably playing a little better at that time. And it was just a hunch that I was going to go go to that lineup. Uh, Kendra Suttles has kind of a calming uh, force on our team. Uh, she knows how to play. She can create some baskets on her own. She's a good, uh, good passer. Uh, she's crafty. She doesn't jump very high. She's not very quick, but uh, she's crafty at what she does and, and understands how to play the game. Rebounding, but holding all their starters, none of them in double figures. I mean, that's that's pretty remarkable. Just what was the key to, to shutting all those players down? Well, we've worked hard on it. Uh, we felt the first time in Norman that uh, uh, Griffin was allowed to dribble two, three times and back us down. So we worked on digging out on the post, and um, Tiff did another good job on on Ellenberg and and. Um, I think the biggest difference is we, we guarded a lot smarter on Shireen Campbell than we did the first time. We, we really tried to get any gaps when she touched the ball, and uh, she killed us off the dribble drive in Norman, and uh, there was still some opportunities there, but we did, we did a lot better job of guarding her dribble drive. Big benefit from going with the bigs down low to start with. Out rebound them by 17, get 17 offensive boards. I mean, just really controlled the, the paint. I mean, 34 points in the paint as well. Well, we, we were hoping that that would be the outcome on it. And uh, thought LaShawn played really well, too. She had to set out. She's got to, I told her, she's got to be one of those players. Make me take you out of the game. Don't take yourself out of the game. Because she's, uh, she's proving uh, to be a good defender. She's getting better on her free throws. Uh, she's just coming on, and, and uh, uh, she's one of those kids that have, has been a grinded out player for three years, and her time has come, and it's, it's really neat to see a kid like that succeed. It seemed like you were able to answer every little run that they would come up with, you know, they could pull it within two or three points, but then you'd come right back with a nice little four or six point run. We were, and, and I, I think those were just hustle points and hustle baskets. Uh, we can we came down one time, I think we threw it away three times and Bias stole it back twice and it resulted in a layup, you know. And um, Sometimes we win ugly, but as long as we're hustling, we're, we're a way different team. And I thought our intensity level and, and uh, energy level was as good as it's been in a while. Sherry was in here sort of figuratively pulling her hair out over her team's roller coaster all season. And this is sort of apart from the game, I'm asking you, but you've been coaching a very long time. I'm, I, I don't know if you've had a, a team or two in your past where you couldn't figure it out, could have pushed the right buttons, but what's it like for a coach in, in that spot? Or I mean, does this just happen every decade to most people? Uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a tough time to coach at times, you know. it's. Uh, uh, you hope they're listening to you. You hope they're paying attention. You hope that they're they're doing the little things right. Um, I, I can't comment on what Sherry's thinking. We've gone we've gone through that this year, as has everyone else in the conference. Uh, this conference will do it to you as well. Uh, there's just so many good teams that if you're not really locked in every night, you're going to be on a roller coaster ride and. 
we, we've had that a little bit, even despite having a, a very nice record. But you just got to keep trying to do the little things right every day. And, and when it disappears, you got to go back to work and, and get those things back. We got the treadmill out this week, you know. So uh, we, we tried to uh, reestablish some focus this week. So would it be fair to say that any team in this conference is, is, can be more fragile than perhaps they think they are? If a few things don't go their way, you know, the schedule catches up to you. And, I mean, it doesn't take much to get on the wrong side of things. I guess well, what it hurt our confidence. We, we were shaken in, in our confidence the way we lost the Baylor game. I mean, to fight that hard and, and – uh, Everything that could go wrong in the last 30 seconds of that game went wrong, and uh, it hurts you when you when you invest that much in it, and you lose games like that. And every team in this league has gone through it. I mean, Baylor, not very much. West Virginia, not very much. But three through ten, all of us have gone through that. And how you fight through that adversity and how you fight through the tough times is going to define you as a basketball team. Bringing out the treadmill. Was that your idea in practice this week, or, or how did that kind of come about? You know, it, it was a coach's idea on that, and, and uh, you know, I, I've got a lot of respect for, for Eddie Sutton, and I remember when he brought out the shoulder pads and the helmets, and we contemplated doing that, but we couldn't find any. So, uh, you know, we, we just wanted to get tougher. We just wanted to get tougher. We wanted to get back to playing defense the way we have. We wanted to get back rebounding. And we felt like we needed to, to help the kids get refocused a little bit. They took it very well, were very receptive to being coached, and uh, I, I think it paid off. How big is finding your identity again uh, going to be going forward the last handful of games uh, in the regular season, fighting for uh, conference seating in the tournament? Well, it's going to be very important. You know, we, we've won a lot of games where we help people in the 50s, and, and then we've got away from that. We've given up. 81, 74, 81, the last two or three games. And, uh, um, you know, part of that was part of that was our turnovers, and we didn't do a very good job of that tonight. We gave up 23 points on, on turnovers. We gave up 25 points against uh, Baylor off of turnovers. So sometimes it looks like you aren't guarding when you're throwing the ball to the other team, too. So there, there's areas that we got to clean up. But... I'm not going to be very critical today. I thought we played extremely hard and played with a lot of energy. You feel like Liz is starting to kind of find her game again, find a rhythm, 15 points, 11 rebounds, 6 on the offensive end? You know, she had 22 against Baylor. She's coming back a little bit. And uh, when Liz rebounds, her numbers take care of themselves. And she had 11 today. And, and I thought she was relentless on the offensive boards. and and got a lot in the first half on that that gave us second chance points. And, and uh, you know, she, she played very hard. This game was very important to Liz Donahoe. I mean, has there been a different approach from her the last few weeks? I mean, what, where do you see this, you know, increase back to what she used to be able to do, kind of showing up here late? She's got back in the gym. She's putting in a lot of time in the gym on her shot. Um, you know, we, we've just, uh, always had the idea if you struggle you work your way out of it uh, I'm an old baseball guy if you're struggling swinging the bat you get in the cage and, and hit your way out of it if you shoot you're a shooter you get in and you work on that so uh, I, I just think her work ethic and has helped her regain some of her confidence any more questions for coach thank you, thank you guys